So this isn't going to be my usual sort of video uh, for this channel, so I apologise and if you're here for the Lottles, all for it. I'm all for it, but unfortunately this video isn't going to be that sort of video. So let's talk about where I've been and why I've been gone and hopefully it'll make sense in the end. I'm just going to jigsaw this together and hope it makes sense to the people that genuinely care. So let's go. I've been wanting to do this video for the longest time and every time I've tried, I've got a couple of minutes in of that and I've always kind of got cold feet and backed off and never done it because um, I always swore I'd be back. I always said I'll be back and deep down, I still very much want to come back. I don't want to just disappear off this platform, I really don't, but there's a few things that I think need a voice in. Um, I need to talk about in depth with you guys. If it's ever been one thing I've always done on this channel, it's always been transparent with you guys. I've always been honest. When I very first started to experience a knock in my health, you guys were the first people I spoke to outside of direct family. Um, I just stood in front of the camera and I spoke my piece, you know? Um, and I think I should do that again. I really do think I should do that again. Um, obviously I've been away for a long time and the messages still come through of people asking concerns about how I'm doing and stuff and the truth was back then I wasn't doing too great I pretended I was doing great um, but the truth was I was living a very reclusive life I wasn't really doing very much I was obsessed with my job my hobby of, of aquatics and I still very much am but outside of my house I wasn't living any sort of life. I was just locking myself away because I was becoming growingly scared of what might happen if I go outside. My sight was deteriorating pretty quickly. I had a double bout of sight loss and things became very scary quite apparently quick. Uh, so much so that I couldn't even cross the road safely. There was numerous times I was almost knocked down and it was the last straw for me. I was taking my daughters to school this particular day and I thought the road was clear which is quite easy to misjudge when you can't see too great and I walked out in front of a car and had it have just been me I'd have probably laughed it off as a bit of a coping mechanism but it wasn't just me I was there with my kids and I thought to myself no something's got to give I'm going to I'm going to end up hurting myself if not even worse somebody around me that that means more to me than anything so I started to use a cane. I was under a lot of pressure by friends and family and the blessings of guide dogs that were trying to get me some mobility training. And I decided to use a white cane. I said, I'll use the cane, but I'll use it purely to get people off my back because I'm doing all right. I was telling myself back then. Um, and I started using the cane and um, it just opened up so many doors for me. Quite literally, people open the door for you quite a lot. <laughs> but joking aside... It really changed my life, it changed my perspective on the world, you know, I could navigate again safely. Um, and that's when I decided to go down the guide dog route and put my name down on a waiting list for a guide dog. Now, it's not as simple as that, it's a really lengthy process. And yeah, um, a guide dog has happened. I do have a guide dog in my life now, after a long wait on a waiting list to be matched with the right dog. Um, I guess where I, I guess this is the part where I kind of edit the little guy in. Little is a massive understatement because he's an absolute cannon. He really is. His name's Guinness. He's um, been with me now for a few months and the relationship is going amazing. He's really changed my life. I know it sounds very cliche, but um, he has changed my life for the better. So everybody, please meet Guinness. So as I was recording this, um, Guinness was right there on my foot the whole time. I haven't tranquilized him. He's doing just fine. He's just quite clingy. Isn't that right, big man? He's just quite clingy. And that's that's Tia, as you might know. But yeah, there he is. Um, I'm sorry it's not more of a, a warmer welcome. I mean, Tia will come and greet you. Um, but Guinness is just gonna play dead because that, that's kind of what he does best. He's quite a lazy loaf, but he's my lazy loaf and I love him very much and TT is an absolute treasure aren't you pop you're an old girl but you're a treasure don't don't sit on his head hello big man have you come to say hello hello big man how you doing to everybody meet Guinness my wonderful black Labrador guide dog 
Yes, we know about you. You've already been featured, you cheapo. You've already been featured. But yes, here he is and he likes to play. He loves to play. Oh, he's a good one. He likes to play, he does. He likes to play a lot. Watch this. Leave. Guinness, leave. And sit. Good boy. And away you go. <laughs> He's such a cool dog. <laughs> I'm sure you like that little clip of Guinness, by the way. Whilst on the surface, I might have been pretending that my life was going okay. A lot of it wasn't going okay. More, more than anything, it was down to my health. It was just really in a really bad place. And I was doing a really good job of disguising over it. Um, mental health takes a massive knock with that too. Um, life just kind of took, took me on a bit of a roller coaster ride. And I started to quickly realise that I was in a bad place. Um, I need to take some time out of the spotlight, if you will. Um, have I missed this? Absolutely. Do I want to come back? I do. What's stopping me? The workload. It's as simple as that. It's a lot to record, edit, and publish your own videos week in, week out, like I was doing. I was literally getting a video out at least once a week, doing numerous lives during the week on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and everywhere else. And then get on a video out each week about the same sort of stuff. So my, my suggestion is, I want to ask you guys, and I'm really going to take your opinion seriously. So think long and hard before you answer. I'm thinking about coming back as more of a vlog style channel. So more of a day-to-day -day stuff. There's a lot more to my life than just axolotl care. Obviously that's still a huge part of my life. But it's not the only part of my life. I would like to take this channel in a new direction. And I would ideally like to do more of a day-to-day -day vlog. So you're going to meet Guinness a lot more. You're going to watch us travel together. And when we go out and about around the country. And what we get up to on the road. Um, and we're going to talk about a million things on top of that. How does that sound to you guys? Are you guys willing to support that? Would you want to see everything outside of the Axotal community that I do? I don't know. Let's let's talk. Let's talk. I'm listening to you. Speak in the comments. I'm listening to you. Let's see what you guys say. Let's see what you guys think. Um, I'm still 50-50 at the moment. One day I'm all for it and I'm like, let's do it. Let's try and take this channel in a new direction. Let's make it into something else. And then other days I think to myself, nobody would want to see that. Nobody really cares about you. They want, they're here for the axolotls. Don't fool yourself, Frankie. So it's a bit of a bit of a figure of eight kind of roundabout I go through every day so let me know I'm, I'm asking you guys I want your opinion I want to know what you think and as you can probably hear in the background there's so many new additions to the family too and I want to kind of show you them all so let me know what you guys think as always uh, thank you so much for the support uh, the amount of messages and emails and everything that I still get and believe me, I, I, I try my best to read them all. I've given up trying to reply, and I hate to do that. But I've given up trying to reply because there's just so many. Um, and when you need to take a mental step break away, for, a step away from it and have a mental break from these things, the last thing you need to be doing is kind of overindulging in anything social media related. It's a funny old thing is social media. On the most part, it's great, but it's not always great, you know? So yeah, that's where I've been. I hope this kind of makes sense. I'm sorry if it doesn't. I know it's a little bit rushed and put together, but I just want to get it off my chest. I want to see what you guys think before I make my next decision to what I do. Now, of course, the podcast is still going. It's actually going really well. It's going strong. I am a little bit quiet on the, on the episodes there as well. However, that's very easy to rectify. I've got loads of ideas for that too. And hopefully, I know I've said this before, but hopefully a couple of special guests along the way as well. So there we go. Thanks everybody for stopping by. I sure have missed you. I hope you sort of slightly miss me too. And I'll speak to you very soon, okay? Take care everybody.